All right, guys. The SSL Connect Error 5 IDM error. This tutorial will show you how to fix the SSL Connect Error 5 IDM error. This error can occur when using the IDM Internet Download Manager to download files from secure website, which is HTTPS. Now, let's try to fix this issue. So, step number one check your internet connection. Make sure always before downloading or doing anything on the internet and you are facing any issue, make sure to restart your router and also apply these commands. Just open CMD as an administrator. So, the first command ip config slash flush tns and second ip config slash release. The last IP config slash renew. Now let's move on the step number two update IDM. Make sure you are using the latest version of IDM. You can download the latest version from the IDM website or if you have the IDM, just open it and then click on help and in the help section you will see here the check for updates just click on this and it will check for the updates right now you are using the latest version of internet download manager please check back again for update at a later time so in my case it's already up to date but in, might be you are using the older one in case in your case you will get the update just uh, follow the instructions that will pop up on your uh, desktop and update your idm now let's move on to step number three, disable your firewall and antivirus program. Temporarily disable your firewall and antivirus program. These programs can sometimes block IDM connection to the websites. Once you have disabled your firewall and antivirus program, try downloading the file again. Now in my case, I don't use any third party antivirus. Mostly I prefer the Windows Defender. Now what you can do here. Uh, don't disable this antivirus actually just uh, simply you need to go here into the firewall and network protections once you over here now in my case you can see this private network is active might be you are facing this like the public network active just go on that and disable it from here once you disable this now try to download your file might be this will fix your problem if you can download right now then what you can do here just enable it once again and then you will see here allow an app through firewall just click on it now simply you need to click here allow another app and add your idm over here just go into the c drive then program x86 internet download manager add idm idm grh ip or lp and the last one ie monitor these three files you need to include add here and then just go back now one more thing you need to do here just go into the advanced settings and uh, in the advanced settings you need to go into the inbound rules now find here the idm just press i until you will get here the idm if it's not appearing here then simply you can just create a new rule for your idm now this time you need to select here the program then click on next add your program from here just go into the C drive program x86 now find here the IDM and just add the IDM and IDM GRHLP these two files just click on add click on next now allow the connection again click on next and check the three options and then click on next just put here the IDM and click on click on finish and this will solve your problem if it's related to the firewall or network protection now after doing this, let's move on to step number 4, clear your browser, cache and cookies, clear your browser, cache and cookies. This can sometimes fix problem with SL, SSL certifications. Now in my case, I'm using Google Chrome and I don't want to clear my browser history, but you can do it. Uh, it's important. Let me show you actually. Just open your browser. If you don't know, just go into the history tab. Clear browser data, select here all time, select all these options and then clear your data. I'm not doing this because I have a lot of accounts login on my browser. So that's why I'm not doing this. 
further but one more thing you can do here I'll just click on the windows icon then type here the internet options once you go over there now click on the delete select all these options and click on ok go into the settings select here never so it will never store again cache and cookies now one more thing you need to go into the advanced make sure click on the restore hit apply and this time you need to go here into the connection make sure there is no vpn over here in the dial up pad if there is any just select and click on remove now go into the local area network lan settings and select here automatically detect settings and if there is any like this one just uncheck these settings just select here only the automatic detect settings and hit ok also go into the content and clear SSL state so it will reset your SSL state from your PC and then click on OK. One more thing you need to do here just to make sure you are not using any VPN or something else. Uh, sometimes what happened let me show you just opening the far tool. Now it's a kind of VPN. Now suppose I'm just enabling it like this. Now uh, in case after connecting just uh, suppose I'm closing it like this so that's not actually the proper close closing the program because it's still connected as you can see here if I just launch this program it's still connected so first disable it and then exit all right one more thing you can do here just go into the IDM settings this time just click on the download options now here we need to make sure we are not using any uh, proxy or any dial of VPN. So go into the proxies, use system settings. If this is not working, you can go here, no proxy and socks and then hit OK. Also go into the dial of VPN and make sure there is no dial up or something else. And I guess that's it. Click on OK. This will fix your problem 100%. If still you are getting any issue, just let me know. In the comment section the last but not least you can also try a different browser might be that will fix your problem sometimes it's related to the website not your like pc issue but it's a website issue might be it's protected or something else so in that case you can download it um, like in a legit way so i hope this guide will help you if you have followed all of these uh, all of the step in this tutorial and you are still getting the SSL connect error 5 IDM error then you may need to contact the website administrator for further assistance and um, yeah that's it if you like this video if this video really helpful for you please hit the subscribe button and share it with friend if you have any question or any suggestion for me just let me know in the comment section I'll respond to you as soon as possible till then just take yourself Allah Hafiz bye bye